Now we're going to see if our memory card is still here and if the batteries have power. So it's still on and the memory card is gone. So it looks like the hunters have taken every memory card of every camera they can find. It's 8 o'clock in the morning on December 20th. I'm going to retrieve some trail cameras that I had put out or I haven't checked since August 6th. I'm interested to see what the elk and deer activity has been during all of the different hunting seasons in this area. And that was the reason that I put them out uh, before the first bow season and left them all the way through the last rifle season. Hiked about uh, a mile in. You might recognize this area from one of my earliest scouting videos on Pike National Forest. I was talking about the, the deer crossing, deer and elk crossing this area from the hill down going across the hill up there and um, I have seen several deer tracks today and some fox tracks I haven't seen any elk or moose tracks today yet in this first mile of course it's pretty close to the trailhead so that doesn't really surprise me anyway um, another hour or so maybe we'll be uh, getting close to some cameras there's an old an old hunting camp here. You can see some wood has been piled up a long, long time ago up between these trees. It's piled firewood. There's a fire ring. Here's some more firewood over here. An old army shovel. They got a poker here for the fire. Probably a marshmallow stick or something there. And uh, some more firewood. They got a little grate that they would use on the fire for cooking well here's an old jug now this says that it expires June 8th 2018 okay normally that stuff has a long life so I'm guessing the last time that someone camped here was in 2016 2017 something like that I'm just gonna leave it right here now this looks like a fresh cut right here and some flagging this wasn't I didn't never, never saw this before so they made a toilet right there so they have been in here hunting um, that's fresh sign from this year, so they hunted this year again. And an old table. They have leaned up against a tree, and the last time I was in here, this was all piled up with leaves on the back. And they did a little better job getting it up out of the dirt here with these cross sticks. So, uh, still active, still an active camp. But I'm guessing that they don't hunt here every year. Maybe every few years. Here's the old crossing. Hopefully this is frozen solid. Well, I guess I can cross over here. There's, there's a narrow... I don't need to walk across the widest part. Amazing. I had to show this to you. Look at this track. That's compared to my glove. Which is really hard. I don't think I don't think that track can be a coyote. Maybe I can 
but it looks extremely large to me. <laughs> I'd really like to know what that is. It's kind of scary, actually. I mean, this is miles, literally miles from any trailhead or road. I mean, this is a remote area. We went about four and a half miles, and um, I'm approaching the place where the first camera should be. Hopefully it's still here. It's obvious there were hunters in that camp, which is maybe a half mile away. Um, I think the camera is still here. Here's the trail camera. And I'll show you what's on that as I cut in this film from the home office. I'm, I've stopped using these pails now. Now I make bird boxes to cover them and protect them. I'll show you what those look like in another video. I had this strap tied up here. I always do that because they, one is they blow around. The other thing is, is that the animals get attracted by them and they always want to come over and pull on the straps. And as I was going to unbuckle this, I noticed that this is like really worn, almost torn right here leading me to believe that something's been over here pulling at this trying to get this free the first thing i noticed when i took this down off the tree was that this little rubber cap was unplugged right there for that external power which i don't use thought that was kind of strange i come in here turned it off and turned it back on to see what was happening here it has uh full power but it said no card and i guarantee a hundred percent that I had a card in there because I have specific cards I use in these cameras so that just means someone come in they didn't take the camera they just decided they wanted the the card with all the game scouting on it I'm guessing that would be those hunters all right here's where I left the mountain lion tracks right in this area an old Budweiser can from the 70s right there um, Mountain lion, I think it had come through here. I kind of lost its tracks My trail camera is over this way And the other thing is I don't know if anyone has taken my batteries out or my memory card they haven't taken the camera it's still on and the memory card is still in there well the hunters didn't find all of my cameras this one was located very close to where their hunting camp was and it also happens to be an elk bedding area as you can see from the activity here which was quite heavy uh, this camera footage is from August 6th through December 20th. Around August 20th, you could see this big bull here that had um, just recently begun rubbing the velvet off of its antlers. And later you'll see right around August uh, 14th or 15th, just before the opening of the first rifle season on the 16th, was the last activity of the elk. I'm assuming that the hunters had come in and set up camp and flushed the elk out of the area. And from the old Budweiser can and the sign around the camp, you can tell that they've been using that camp for many years, maybe even a few generations. And I'm sure they have no idea that they're setting up their camp right in the middle of the elk bedding grounds and actually driving the elk out of the area.
you can see that we had our first snowfall on October 14th uh, overnight before the 15th just before the beginning of first rifle season and at this point onward there were no more captures of elk deer or moose at this camera till I arrived on December 20th 